Good morning, Kids Corner. Today we are going to learn how to build a first aid kit for a day hike. Um, I brought along a couple extra first aid kits. Um, in case you ever were wondering what we carry in our first aid kits, you can always give us a call and we'll gladly go through it with you. Um, the first thing we want to do when we're choosing a first aid kit is to choose a product that is waterproof and lightweight that we can put it in. Um, so we have a few back here. We have our day camp, which is like a week long first aid kit. We have Will's personal first aid kit, which is a very small pack kit. And then we also have our backcountry first aid kits, which are in waterproof dry bags. So we always waterproof everything that we're doing when we're building a first aid kit. But for today, we're just gonna build a day kit just something that you need to take out if you're just going to go on a short little hike with your friends so what i'm going to do is just use a ziploc bag um, because it's very easy to put my stuff in and it you know it's kind of bendable and stuff and then i'm going to use smaller ziploc bags to hold the rest of my stuff yes i know i'm using a lot of plastic but um i you re reuse all of this stuff so it's not that i'm just keep buying more i just reuse it and then we put it in the next first aid kit so the biggest thing that um, I always want to carry with my first aid kit is phone numbers um, I want emergency numbers I want all those fancy things to um, help me get through just in case there's an emergency so 911 my mom my dad the local hospital um, your uncle your cousin whoever you need to be in contact with for that day when you're going on the hike. And then I also like to keep a little list of what I have in my pack. That way when I pull it out, it's right there. And if I don't have something in there, then I know that I don't need to struggle through my first aid kit looking for it. Um, day kits are gonna be small. Backcountry kits may be bigger. They may be color coded. Um, they may have other things going on with them. First thing I'm going to bring in my first aid kit for a day hike is band-aids. So I have little band-aids and big band-aids, and I also have iodine in here. Um, we shouldn't be rubbing alcohol all over our cuts. Um, iodine works to just wipe around the cut. You know, it keeps things from spreading in. If it's a big cut, obviously you may want to call somebody, but if it's something you could just throw a band-aid on, throw a band-aid on, but don't be sticking any of that alcohol in there. Just use the iodine. Next big thing I want to carry is gauze pads and gauze rolls. You never know when you're going to have a bleeder. So if we always keep those with us, then we can always control a bleed if we need it. Tick kits. I love bringing tick kits. We live in New York. We should be keeping them, pulling the kit out, put it right back in this plastic bag. Boom, ready to go hand stuff antibacterial you can either keep a little bottle or you can keep wipes something we definitely need now going to the bathroom touching somebody's cut even though we're wearing gloves we still should be using this after we touch anything it also helps if we're going to eat lunch we can clean our hands so along with that i like to wear the gloves and then i also carry a cpr mask it should be an everyday habit, carry a CPR mask and gloves, but something you should definitely have in your first aid kit. A triangular bandage. Um, you never know when you're going to need to sling something up. This also helps to just hold things in place. Um, it's got a multi-purpose to it. Blister protection. We want to make sure that we're taking care of any hot spots. We don't want to get home and say, oh, I wish I would have put second skin on that. We want to be able to put second skin on it right away. A bag to put all of our yuckiness in. That way when we get home, we can just take it out, throw it away. The contents of our kit isn't messed with. Everything's separated. Um, and then we don't have to remake a whole first aid kit. And then I also like to bring a journal. Uh, we bring a journal so we can log anything. Say, you know, somebody's foot was swollen at 12 and the swelling got worse. You can record that or you can write down when you put a Band-Aid on, things like that. Um, you can add anything you'd like to your first aid kit. Um, we put a little stingies in there, a little hydrocortisone. That's completely up to you because we do a lot of hiking with bugs and insects. But it's really um, making sure you have essential stuff for the day and knowing 
how to go if you don't have the stuff you need, whether it's calling 911 or whoever's on your emergency contact. Um, we would gladly love to go through more first aid stuff, but unfortunately I'm making a short video. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Will, Jim, or myself, and we'll go through building a first aid kit with you. Thanks, and I hope you guys have a great day and you build a first aid kit and go on a hike.